Ryan Moore. Ryan's very, very dedicated. He minds his own business, and uh, you'd never see any confrontation with anybody. Um, he gets on with the job and does what the public wants, gets the winners. The lads that I would really admire the most as, as, as people you could look up to and get advice, um, like a John Reed, Pat Edry, Bruce Raymond, I mean, they're all gone. Um, there's nobody there like that now. But um, I think we're in a different era now. It's, it's, the, the game's changed. So I mean men in there now. <laughs> um, Jim Crowley would have to be up there. Jim would be up there. Yeah. Again, it has to be Ryan Moore. Mm. Ryan Moore. Absolute true professional. Um, I've been saying it for a long time. He's probably, he's probably one of the best that we'll, we'll see. I mean, we have Lester, Ryan, Frankie, Uzi. Um, Ryan's probably, probably one of the best that we've seen. Musty yeah. would have to be the one that's always whinging, you know. You'll always hear him whinging. Even if it's sunny, there'd be something wrong, yeah. Tom Queeley. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's good fun. Yeah, Tom Queeley. Okay. There's no good losers. No, there wouldn't be competitive as jockeys and they wouldn't remain in there if they were if they were good losers. There's no good losers. We none of us like losing. Pushing Murphy. He'd be very good. Um, Tom Mack and you'd just be listening to them there in the background and, and yeah, they'd be the two I'd pick out. You, you know, some of the kids coming through today, like unlike before, um, they, they, they have it off. They have it off to a fine art early in the game. I think it's because the the way they've been brought up now through the school and through their mentors and they've got jockey coaches and you've got a lot more uh, media coverage and so that they're watching it more intense than, they, than, than we would have been when we were young. We were listening to it off a speaker in the bookie office and they have YouTube and they have everything now. That'd be very unfair of me to say that now. They start tying knots in my shorts and everything in there. There's no way I'm going to say that one. <laughs> makes a good trainer somebody who's well, it's, who, who's brought up with it really from the beginning and, and, and seen both sides of it as he's coming up through and, and probably served his time a bit longer than anybody else. I think um, maybe the ones that you lose their claim very quick, they never have spent enough time in the yards. So you have to kind of grow up with it and, and, and um, I'm trying to think who'd make a good trainer there now. Oh, there's a lot of them in there very knowledgeable. I mean, you wouldn't be afraid to leave a barn there to most of them at the minute, you know, a lot of them.